Welcome back everyone to Let's Play V3. Yep. <laughs> yes, let us proceed. Where did the culprit hide Ryoma's body? From our discussion earlier, his body could have been in the space inside the staircase. Uh... And uh, no. First of all, I don't think two bodies would fit just from the image that we've seen. Uh, second point would be Himiko would be the culprit, which is also not true. <laughs> so, but that's where Himiko would escape from, right? Yeah, I think they're gonna say they just can't fit. So Himiko went in the stairs with the body. What kind of kinky shit is she into? <laughs> Mew! <laughs> no, come on. Why would you even assume that from Himiko? That seems unlikely. Yeah. There isn't enough space for two people okay. to fit in there. Fair. Yes. Yeah, the stairs are pretty cramped. It'd be hard to fit even Ryoma and Himiko in there. Excuse me, but like, how do we know that the stairs are cramped? Like, <laughs> up until now, no one even knew that there was that was a thing, and now we just know everything about the stairs or did we did himiko make a picture and show us <laughs> like huh <laughs> who says they went in together she could have made the switch as she was leaving the tank yeah okay yeah makes sense but still no <laughs> yeah yeah at the same time she could have pulled out the body from inside the stairs I like how they have the hats, so you know who's who. <laughs> Himiko's standing there like, what do we do now? she'd have room to put herself in there. See how easy that is. And that would be doable in 60 seconds. I wonder what kind of objection will... Let's see. I think that explains how Himiko changed places with Ryoma's body. Huh. Wait a minute! Why did you automatically assume it was Himiko? Yes, that's what I want to know. <laughs> Who else but Himiko could have done it? Some, literally anyone. <laughs> like... No, not again! Not again! <laughs> Angie, you spent more time with Himiko than any of us. Yes! So why are you accusing her? Thank you. We are finally saying that. She didn't even say nye. <laughs> okay. You may think you're protecting Himiko, but what if she really is the culprit? Then we all die and I'm fine with it. <laughs> like, she's not. Come on. We'll all die, and it will be all your fault. But I get her. Yes, okay. Precious devotees. I guess it makes sense. She's like the most likely person to be the, the suspect. It makes sense. Okay, I'll, I'll stop hating her now. <laughs> but still, we'll have to prove her wrong somehow. Are you okay with that, Tenko? I'm totally fine with that. Sam. <laughs> it's what I just said. And sure, if she's the culprit, then I'll die believing in Himiko. That's a death I'd actually be fine with. Like, come on. What? I don't care what anyone says. Himiko would never murder someone! That's what I believe more than anything. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. I want to believe in her, no matter what. If I can't do that, then I'd rather just die. I underestimated how much she cares for Himiko. <laughs> Holy... So until this body takes its final breath, I'm gonna keep believing in Himiko! But again, I'm on her side. I'm on her side too. Okay, what are we doing? Proving that Himiko's innocent, but how? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. It's, oh, oh, oh. The only one who could have switched out Ryoma's body is Himiko herself. That could be true. When Himiko was escaping the tank. Let's see here. She dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. Ah! Uh, simply switched places with it. 
Okay, now it's getting more complicated. Are you telling me you saw that happen? <laughs> no one could have seen that. Yeah. It would have occurred in the middle of the show. When the tank was covered with a curtain. So basically no one saw anything. No one saw anything. I didn't do it, I swear. She's sweating, but no, what? Corpse wasn't in the staircase. Quit lying, you donkey lip con artist! What? She's not lying! Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, there's a lot. There's a lot. There just is a lot. During the magic show and when the timer hit 20 seconds, Gonto went up on... Oh, yeah, okay, so he saw that no one was... I think that's gonna be... Probably. Like, the insect meet and greet is like... How does that prove that... No, it can't be the insect meet and greet. It has to be Gonto's account. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, of course, of course. Of course it's gone to the account, because if Himiko would have, um, pulled out Ryoma's body, um, Gonta would have seen Ryoma's body, but the fact that Gonta didn't see anyone means that it was only Himiko there, and she was hiding, yes! Yes, 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 it's gone to the account, okay. Nice. She's not a con artist, and she doesn't have donkey lips! <laughs> yeah, that's also true. Okay, we figured out the truth bullet. I feel like I'm forgetting about important points. Now, do we agree with Tenko? Herself. Like, when Himiko was or do we, the tank, you know? She dragged out the body, hit the stairs. Dragged out the body. I think it's that. I think it's that. Okay. Like, my problem with this is like. Are you telling me you saw that happen? Uh, no this like I, 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 it would make sense to agree with it Tenko, would have which in the middle of the show. makes sense. Like you when know, the tank was covered with a curtain. I guess you just gotta decide on the so one thing no that's like. No. Oh my God! No, it's this one. Why is it so difficult for me to figure out which one I have to like refute? Like most of these make sense, right? Like what Kurakuyo said. Is Himiko herself? Like this is wrong. When Himiko was no, no. the tank. Hold on. No, that is not wrong. Himiko herself would be the only one that could No, okay. I'm thinking about this the wrong way again. I need to get out of this mindset or I'm not gonna do well in this class trial. What she said I cannot uh, argue against. I cannot argue against what Angie said. She dragged out the body hidden in the stick. She dragged out the body. I could, I could refute this with Gonta's account, right? Isn't that? Would that let me advance? I'm just gonna play it safe and uh, refute was, uh, Ko what Kokichi said, though. Yes. I'm gonna play it safe. <laughs> Are you telling me you never would have seen that? It would have occurred in the middle of the show, when the tank was covered with a curtain. I also need to hit these. I forgot that. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that whole mechanic. Yeah, Gonta saw it. Gonta saw it. Someone did see inside the tank. It was Gonta. Gonta. Gonta had climbed onto the stage and was looking into the tank from above. Isn't that right, Gonta? That is very right, <laughs> yes. Yeah, Gonta saw down into tank, but saw no one in there. Yep, this proves it. This proves it. No one was in there? Yeah, no one. Guess that clue no good, huh? It is! <laughs> okay, I I'll stop. Gonta is just like... He's like this. <laughs> Can't change him. No, that's actually a great clue. Because... Oh, thank you for... for uh, you know, pointing out it's it's a very great one. I hope that like kind of boosts up his uh, you know self-esteem. If Ryoma's body was hidden inside the staircase, yeah, Himiko would have had to pull him out before she went inside. And Gonto would have seen that. There certainly wasn't enough room in the staircase for both of them. But that means if the tank was empty when Gonto looked, Ryoma's body must not have been hidden in the staircase. Yep. What if they squeezed into that space with Ryoma's body to avoid getting caught? 
we just said there's not enough space, like... She had no need to worry about us witnessing her at that point. Oh wait, what did she say? Well, they squeeze into that space. Ah, to avoid getting caught. Yeah, she had no worries because um, the curtain was there. She didn't expect anyone to like look into the tank. She didn't even know that anyone would do that. So why would she prepare for that if she didn't expect that to happen? She had the curtain, so she didn't. For the entire stage was hidden behind a curtain. Yes. <laughs> well, but Gonta, anyway. Let's go. Then the culprit never would have considered hiding inside the staircase yeah. with the body. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, okay, we're back on track. <laughs> Finally. Entering the staircase after moving the body is much faster and seems more rational too. Man, it could have been flawless up until now. <laughs> um, Yoma's body wasn't hidden in the stairs. I wasn't. Someone better say where the fucking body was hidden, or I'm gonna start cutting throats. Uh, lab. And then pool area, and then. Was Roma's body hidden? We need to pin that down. It's clear that it was not inside the staircase, but were. So, mm hmm. Okay, hand uh, Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? So, what was the, what was the thing here? Yeah? Locked handcuffs that were in the water tank for the escape arc. Since it was made out of stainless steel, it was difficult to leave. Any marks? Mm hmm. Oh, what? Wait, how do you scroll again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is it. It wasn't really in the stairs, was it? After all, there was only enough space for Himiko. Uh, yeah. Well, how about behind the curtain? Swing and miss! <laughs> There's a way to enter the tank from there. Mm. Then it would be plausible. Or maybe the body was in the tank all along. But we just couldn't see it. What is gonna be the thing here? Impossible. You need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. <laughs> top-notch visual. The tank containing the piranhas. Oh. No way! If you put a body in there. Yeah, no, it wasn't the in there. Piranhas yeah. would have eaten it way before we saw it. But if the body <laughs> and piranhas were separated, oh, then it wouldn't have been devoured. Separated. Yes. Yes, I think that's it. <laughs> that looks so cool, like the separate, the, the separation of those words. Why was he not eaten by the piranhas? Because the yeah, body and piranhas were separated. I'm pretty sure that's it. piranhas. No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. But if the body and piranhas were separate. What? Oh. But what? I, I, okay. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll take I'll take that. Okay, first mistake. No, I thought he meant. Um... Well, how? Yeah, the piranhas were in a tank and the body was somewhere else. I thought that's what you mean. And the scratched handcuffs indicated that the body was actually in the in the in, in the shower room of the research lab. Okay, I guess that's not it. There's something around that could have been used for that purpose. Ah, okay. I was wrong. <laughs> it sounds so dramatic Where every time. Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? Okay, so it still has to be the handcuffs it wasn't though. Really in the stairs, so was let's it? see. What else should we agree with here? After all, there was only enough space for Himiko. There's only enough space for Himiko. Yeah, but that doesn't get us anywhere if I agree with that. Maybe I'm I may have the wrong bullet. Well, how about behind the curtain? If there were What is the piranha tank again? Uh it's carried over by Kaicho. During the magic show was hung over the water escape tank using the control panel. Only front side was made of glass, the other sides were made out of wood. It looked like there was no lid from the start. Maybe this is it, the like no lid thing? Ah. Because yeah, I, I don't think from this point we'll be able to say, yeah, like I think the body was in the, you know, in the research lab. Like that'd be a, just a huge jump from the current topic we're on.
again, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm having a really hard time to figure out what they want me to say or what they want me to prove. Do they, like, okay. There's a way to enter the tank from there. Then it would be plausible. A way to enter the tank. Maybe the body was in the tank all along. There is a way to enter the tank. See it. So I'm, I'm going to try that now. Impossible. You need top-notch visual effects. <laughs> top-notch visual effects. What if the tank contained the piranhas? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. The piranhas full. If the body and piranhas were separated, then it wouldn't have been devoured, correct? I, I still feel like he is correct, but... Where were you hiding real? Maybe I should really read what <laughs> Shuichi really says here. Stairs, Let's try this. After all, there was only enough space for Himiko. Well, how about behind the curtain? If there was a way to enter. <laughs> nope. No hidden doors. But <laughs> I thought they're talking about the lid. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, okay. Well, where were you hiding Ryoma's <laughs> body? Well, <laughs> it wasn't really in the stairs, was it? After all, there was only enough space for Himiko. Well, how about behind the curtain? If Would there was a way to enter the tank from there, I'm going to try. This is the last idea I have, and if this is not correct, we'll have to <laughs> think this over again. <laughs> Piranhas would have eaten the body and piranha. All right, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, I was no. Wrong. Oh, Where no. Where were you hiding Rioma's body? I'm going to go. I'm going to get him over here. Stairs, was it? After all, there was only enough space for Himiko. Square glass pane? The other bits of glass was shattered. Now, like, I don't, I don't know what they want me to say, and I'm just, well, I'm lost. Behind the curtain. If there was a way to enter the tank from there. A way to enter the tank. I tried the piranha tank. Then it would be plausible. I mean, isn't there? If you say there is a way to enter the tank because there's no lid. And then someone could have just like drop through the piranha tank into the water tank. But I guess we would have seen that. <laughs> well, maybe the body was in the tank all along. But we just couldn't see it. Impossible. You need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. But if the body and piranhas were separated, then it wouldn't have been devoured, correct? Wait, is it... <laughs> is it the visual... No, it can't be. Hatch, no, no, no. Okay, what does Shuichi say here? Come on. Was he not eaten by the piranhas even though he was in the same tank? Oh. I really should just read. <laughs> okay, let's see if this still helps me. Maybe I'm still gonna get it wrong. Why was he not eaten by the piranhas even though he was in the same tank? That's because... The piranhas... Were... Dropped after <laughs> one piece of evidence at the crime scene that might explain it. Where were you hiding Rioma's body? It wasn't really in the stairs, was it? After all, there was only enough space for Himiko. The square well, glass pane behind the curtain? must be at them. If there was a way to enter the tank from there, no, then it would be plausible. I don't know. <laughs> the body was in the tank. Because the swear glass pane wasn't what what 
drop the piranhas into the thing. That was just a mechanism. And the thing opened. So it, it now it can't be this. It cannot be this. But what proved it? Must be the handcuffs. Must be the handcuffs. All along, but we just couldn't see it. Impossible. You need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have way before we saw it. But if the body and piranhas were separated, then it wouldn't have been devoured, correct? I mean, <laughs> so, I agree that the body and the piranhas were separated. What do I have to select to agree with that? I chose the handcuffs, I think. Where were you hiding Rioma's body? It wasn't really in the stairs. What? After all, there was only enough space for him to go. I don't know, dude. <laughs> that, I don't. I don't. I just don't know. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be real. I have no idea. I'm gonna run out of time before I get to Karakuyo again. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten way before we saw it. But if the body and piranhas were separated, time up! Well, <laughs> I made too many mistakes. Yes, I did. Oh, and now I did. Okay. Okay. Is this really the end? <laughs> I cannot. I what? We can't let it end here. No, I have to agree with. I have to agree with Kyo. Let me just throw all of my bullets at him, and then the game will explain to me what I what I'm not getting here. <laughs> Where were you hiding Rioma's body? It wasn't really in the stairs, was it? After all, there was only enough space for him to But if the body and Are you telling me? I agree. If I survived for two more seconds, I would have gotten it. I ran out of time before I <laughs> hypothesis is correct. Oh, if the only I shot piranhas were separated. Yes, but I used the wrong thing. But So I don't I don't know how the glass thing comes into play here. I'm just going to fully admit that I have no idea how that makes sense, so please, let me know. This was accomplished using the square glass pane found in the tank. Okay. Oh. I didn't even think... I didn't even think about it that way. So you're telling me this glass pane was in the piranha tank. And in the lower half, there were the piranhas, let's say, and in the, in the top half, there was Ryoma, and they were separate. I didn't even think about it that way. I thought the glass pane was just the top of the piranha tank that, like, fell down for some reason, where he said, yo, there's no lid. I thought this was the lid. <laughs> I thought this was the lid. I'm so dumb. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, okay, it makes sense. No, I would not have gotten it though. Like, this is something I would not have gotten because this never crossed my mind. Okay, so let's talk about the Piranha Tank for a second. Let's just make sure I fully understand this now. The Piranha Tank was closed on the bottom. There was always a missing ceiling. There always was a missing ceiling from the start until the end. The Piranhas were in the bottom half. Then there was this glass pane, and Ryoma was in the top half, and they could have put Ryoma into the top half because there was no ceiling, and the thing here separated the Priyanus from Ryoma, so it wasn't it wasn't eaten. Okay, this is yeah. I knew the Piranha tank was gonna end me because I didn't understand it. <laughs> I didn't understand anything surrounding it. I feel terrible Just as I thought. for never thinking about this like that. Okay. Using that glass pane as a divider, a safe space could be created in the tank. And it was... Okay, it was... 
diagonal. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Like this, what you see right here, never even crossed my mind. This completely obliterated me. I just, yeah. <laughs> it is in such a space that the body could be stored, separated from the piranhas. It just makes, it, it just made sense to agree with Correcchio here because none of the other statements really seemed, uh, you know, seemed valid. But yeah, wow. Ryoma's body was hidden in the piranha tank the whole time! Which is also something I didn't expect. I, I didn't think he was is he was in the piranha tank all the time. I thought he was dropped. And yes, he was, but not by the culprit. Oh my god. Yeah, they set it up. So okay, okay so the culprit could have been one of the people watching the magic show. Which, if they're gonna say everyone who was watching the show has an alibi, that's out of the window now. Because they set it up beforehand. So, Ryoma's body fell into the water tank with the piranhas? Yeah, yeah. And I guess we didn't see it. Be all because of how many piranhas there were. That's why the amount were doubled, was doubled. So we wouldn't see Ryoma's body fall. <laughs> oh, maybe. Gonta knew it! What is it, Gonta? Gonta was above stage when Piranhas fall. Oh, and he did see Ryoma? Maybe? That's why Gonta sees something no one else could. Wait... When Piranhas fell, Gonta sees some big thing fall into Water Tank with them. Well, compared to the Piranhas, big, but <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's why Gonta said ha! Or what? Yeah, maybe. Or no, no, no. That was before. But okay. Yeah, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Now they're going to think about it. Going to maybe see Ryoma's body. You know, as much as I hate myself for like playing horribly on a trial I thought I thought would go smoothly I'm still glad that there's like a lot of things that just surprised me here because it would be boring if you just like figure everything out from the get-go so yeah this was com I I had no idea this completely catch me off guard <laughs> when the piranhas drop from the tank I thought I saw something bigger drop as well oh the water tank on the bottom is made completely out of glass correct on the bottom Okay, yeah. You can see what is happening through the glass. Can you really hide a body in the tank? Oh. Even in murky water, a dead body would still be visible in a glass tank. <laughs> no, stop it with the piranha tank. I want to be done with it. <laughs> no. Unless a certain something was used to obscure the body. A certain something what? What? A certain something? Yeah, tell me. We all agree that the glass pane was used to separate the body from the piranhas, correct? Yeah. Was it also... No, it was made out of glass. Or was it a mirror? It has the added benefit of hiding the body from view. Okay. No, it's okay, it's like that. Okay, thank you. Thank God that I don't have to, you know, <laughs> deduce something here again. Oh my God. Yeah. How could you hide a body like that? This is always what I'm afraid of. I, 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 like, I'm always looking forward to the class trials because they're the best part of the game. But at the same time, I'm always worried about just like, being completely just like stumped and not knowing what to do. I'm always afraid of that and it so far has always happened. <laughs> but let me, I don't know. I, do you guys get annoyed by that? Or is it fine? Please let me know. Because <laughs> I feel like it's just so like frustrating to watch someone not knowing 
like, yeah. What you have to figure out, basically. Okay. How is the culprit able to conceal the body in the piranha tank? Okay, so we'll still have to figure this out. Oh, what the fuck? Cramp, cramp piranhas. This is it. Nice. Oh, I like. The, li piranhas. <laughs> the piranhas were obscuring the body. Okay, so it is what I mentioned earlier. Let's go. Okay, that you know that makes sense. <laughs> now the other way, everything makes sense so far. I just again, I didn't didn't think about it that way. Okay. Huh? The piranhas? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Remember what Angie said during the investigation? Yep, they like doubled in size or whatever. I noticed it right at the show started. I feel like there are more piranhas today than yesterday when we were preparing. They increased that significantly? <laughs> I didn't know piranhas fuck like rabbits. What the fuck? It seemed that way, but it wasn't that the actual number of piranhas increased. Oh? Oh, was it right? Were they just fed? Gonta. Didn't Gonta's like white noise say that the Priyanias were like full already, so they would not have. Were they fed something, and so they increased in size? No. The glass pane divided okay. the tank nearly in half, right? Yeah, no, no. Okay, that's it. So they they had less. Of course, it would look like they're cramped. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I'm losing. I'm. I'm losing it. The piranhas got crowded together, making it look like there were more of them. Okay. So it seems like everything that is like connected to this piranha tank, I'm just getting wrong <laughs> every time. That makes sense. The more densely the piranhas are packed, yep, yep. The harder it is to see past them. That was so smart. It was difficult to see the body. That is so smart. Oh, hold on. Can we just appreciate? Like, congrats to the killer here. That is super smart. Not only did it separate uh, the the victim and the and the brownies, it also made. Oh my god. Killing like ten birds with one stone. Hey, thanks for telling us that useless detail. <laughs> Say it again, Himiko. Say it again. It's really easy to use <laughs> that one. So it's no wonder they used it as a divider. Gee, thanks. It's really easy to detach that one. Okay. <laughs> what the heck are you saying? That detail was super useful. Yes. Sure, the lid looks a little big, but if you set it diagonally, it would fit perfectly. Mm. Nice job, Himiko! Your explanation was awesome! <laughs> Let's go! This much evidence, it seems like the body was definitely in the piranha tank. Yeah. Congrats, Himiko! Now there should be no reason for anyone to suspect you! <laughs> Let's go. Mm, really? I hope so. Yeah! Because if you didn't switch places with the body, then you couldn't have killed him. It only means we now have other suspects. Yeah. You are not cleared of suspicion just yet. Oh boy. Okay, but still, that's way better. That's a wonderful news, Himiko. Atua is happy for you. Apologize, Angie. You and your Atua better <laughs> tell Himiko you're sorry right now. Right now. Atua is sleeping. What? He went to bed angry because you all doubted him. For good reason. What a petty ass god. No, it's okay. We shouldn't be mad at Angie. Yeah. Oh, she's so she's she's so sweet. Come on. Look at that picture of her on the left. What even is that expression? Um Okay, but at least if we're done with the Prana tank now it should like, this should go better from here on out, hopefully. We should be mad at this class trial. At this killing game. Ac exactly. Exactly, yes. Cap. Oh, Himiko! Bless your sweet, kind heart! Bless. 
That's what Atua said, anyway. <sighs> I forgot. Oh, no, she's been tainted. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's too bad that the handsome god went to bed angry, though. Stop. <laughs> hey, Miko's still brainwashed. Yes. Let's fix her, please. But I'm not giving up just yet. This is going to be a breeze. Great. Now what are we going to do? We're back to square one. Now we've learned a lot. Come on. And why are we back to square one? Yeah. We're like not. Because <laughs> any of us could still be the culprit. Jeez. You flunk out of tarred school or something. Is that true? Uh... I think it's gonna be the case that everyone who is like at the insect meeting raid is gonna have like an alibi raid. Otherwise, what's the point of having that? Nah, -uh. not <laughs> everyone. <laughs> we can narrow it down to whoever doesn't have an alibi yet. <laughs> nah, -uh. not everyone. Nuh-uh, <laughs> not everyone. <laughs> we can narrow it down to whoever. Nuh-uh, not everyone. This is voice actor. I hate him, I love him at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. No, I need to correct that. The voice actor actually makes his character so much better than he otherwise would be, just judging from the dialogue. Oh, I'm crying. Oh, this is too good. <laughs> eh? What alibi? The insect meet and greet, right? I guess I should have known a dumb whore pig like you wouldn't understand. So let me explain. <laughs> past this point. I just want to be here forever. Eh? What alibi? I guess I should have known a dumb whore pig like you wouldn't understand. So let me explain. That, that in inhaling <laughs> a dumb whore pig. A dumb whore pig. Jesus effing Christ. I guess I should have known a dumb whore pig like you wouldn't understand. So let me explain. <laughs> I'm dying. I, I I might be dead already. I I just I just might be dead already. But I'll keep going. <laughs> okay. Who are you calling a dumb pig? What, what about the whore? You're fine with that? You're fine with being called a whore? If there's this much evidence, then there's no mistake. The body was hidden in the piranha tank. Yeah. But for someone to plant the body in there with such limited time is pretty tricky. Brings up a valid point, yeah. It's only one time the culprit could have set up this scene. It was... Uh... Oh my god. During night time? No, they couldn't have entered the gym. With Photoshop. Maybe? Fuck. Ah! Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh no! No, no. <laughs> but like... No, no, no. Okay, so it was... It was... It must have been this. Okay! Okay! Oh, no. Okay... That's it! <laughs> That's it, I think. <laughs> It was done yesterday, before night time. I'm falling apart. But I, like, if it, again, I'm just defending myself here, but if it comes to anything regarding, like, when was something done, I feel like I also messed up a lot in the first draft. Like, just, like, stuff related to time is just impossible for me to figure out for whatever reason. Mm. I guess the first one I picked really didn't make sense. And nighttime. Why didn't nighttime work? Okay. 
Ding, ding, ding! The ultimate detective gets it right again! On the third attempt! <laughs> oh, wait, how do you know it was before nighttime yesterday? Stop asking me dumbass questions. It could have <laughs> been solved with the process of elimination. Yeah, okay, stop. You know, oh, you, now he's gonna rub it in my face. If only you were gonna lose, you like you'd be smart, then you could have figured it out. I'm not big surprise. <laughs> Jeez, fine. I'll explain it to the itty bitty pea brained bitchlet. Why does he hate me so much? And why does she enjoy it so much? <laughs> First, the gym was closed during nighttime, so no one could have entered. Yeah, I know, but okay for part. But I, th I thought they used the window to put Ryoma's body in. Was the window closed? Was are you telling me? I, I okay, yeah, okay. Again, I, I had a. I thought they could have just opened up the window any time. No, the window is also closed. Okay. If you try to enter the gym at night, it'll go off. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You talking about my butthole? What? No, she means the alarm. <laughs> what? After nighttime passed, morning I... came. But hiding the body before the show was everything hurts. I don't know if I can like <sighs> I didn't know your body can hurt so much from just laughing. What? <laughs> okay. Impossible. Himiko and I were waiting in front of the gym before the morning announcement. But I wasn't thinking of the front door, I was thinking of the window. Which leaves only one possibility. It was done before nighttime yesterday. No! What about the window? They could have entered through the window. <laughs> Am I just wrong about everything I think? Anyone who doesn't get this is just as stupid as the whore bitchlet over there. I'm just as stupid at that, as that whore bitchlet called me. I get it. I get it. <laughs> so the culprit placed Ryoma's corpse in the piranha tank before nighttime yesterday? Okay. Which means he was also killed during that time frame. Okay. Now we know what time the crime happened, right? Okay. I still don't really get it, though. Can we narrow down the time of death a bit more? Please. <laughs> I'm sure we can narrow it down. Oh, no, I have to do it. No, I was going to be like Kaito and like have someone explain it to me. If you consider the source of the information. Oh, no. Oh, no. What am I looking for? Witnessing Ryoma, maybe. This is it! Hell yeah! If we can find out who last saw Ryoma alive, we can narrow down the time of death. <laughs> okay. Kirumi, you were asking everyone when they had last seen him, right? Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Ronto was the last person who saw Ryoma. Okay. And what was that? Like 10 p.m.? What? Really? And when was the last time Gonta saw Ryoma? Maybe 10? I don't know. Um, when Gonta was inviting everyone to insect meet and greet, so. Going to think that was maybe 8, 8 okay. p.m.? A lot earlier. If he was last seen at 8 p.m. and was killed before nighttime officially began. Yeah, right, because the insect meeting read ended at 10 p.m., right? But it started earlier, okay. I think that's what it was. Then we can assume the crime took place between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock at night. So, okay, but can someone please tell me? Like, if you try to enter or like try to open the window that connects to the gym will the alarm go off 
Oh, I feel like that's gonna be like a part way later in the class trial, but I keep thinking it's gonna be important now. Just perish the thought, just whatever. That's gonna be brought up later. So all we must do is find someone with no alibi for that time period, yes? Okay. Simple enough. After all, most of us were detained by Gonta then. If I recall correctly, the only people that weren't there besides Leoma... That would be the four of us. Myself, Kaito, Mew, and also Maki. Okay. Now, Kirumi, you would tell the truth, even if it screwed you over. <laughs> okay. I do this for everyone. It is my duty to unveil the truth, so I do not care if people suspect me. Ah, beautiful! <laughs> Your spirit of self-sacrifice is just too beautiful! I agree. <laughs> With Kyo here. The beam of light! <laughs> you will also say oh, it's gone. The crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night, and I was at the gym during that time. Alright. Ha! <laughs> I was at the gym during that time. Okay. But I was only there for about five minutes. Why would you even say that, though? <laughs> You're tying a noose around your neck, you know. Kind of. I don't care if it was five seconds. It's way too suspicious that you were alone in the gym. But she, she didn't. No way. I think the cleaning lady here is the culprit. You killed Rioma, didn't you? It's too soon to tell. We should hear what everyone has to say, right? Right! Fuck that noise! Oh, come on. But Mew, you don't have an alibi for when the crime occurred either, do you? You think I'm suspicious? <laughs> uh, I don't even know where the gym is. <laughs> That's... <laughs> True. Doesn't telling such obvious lies make you more suspicious, Mew? <laughs> she has something to hide, but it's not the murder. She has something else. The other two without alibis are Kaito and Maki. Let us hear your testimonies. What was Kaito doing? I was in my research lab the whole time. I didn't go to the gym. Yeah, we know what Maki was doing, but I still... like. But that cannot be proven, can it? Hmm. I, I guess. I guess it can't. Yeah. No one stood there with her the entire time. What about Kaito? Only murderers grow out creepy facial hair like mustaches <laughs> and goatees. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. What? My goatee's not creepy. It gives me a glamorous celebrity vibe. Let's go. Anyway, among those four, the culprit must be the one who doesn't have an alibi. Uh... I apologize, but given the circumstances, we have no choice but to suspect you. It's fine, you don't have to apologize. Suspect who? Who's the culprit? Wait up! Why are you guys suspicious of me? I've been helping the whole time! Oh no! Wait, I remember now. <laughs> I do have an alibi! No, not this! No! You will see whether or not I am suspicious as the trial progresses. Oh my god. I'm no not way the I'm the culprit! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the mass panic debate is gonna start. That's what you're thinking, right? Then the game knows. The game knows. Well, be exact. <laughs> Let me give you another tutorial first. Don't worry. We're just gonna add like more to this. The mass panic debate this time around will have loud voice dialogue. What? No, I'm in my own room. Jeez. That's a loud voice. Okay. It's when one of your opponents shouts their opinion in a loud voice. Jeez. That blocks out everyone's arguments. Even if you see a weak spot, you can't refute it. Oh, fuck. So, another distraction. I don't know, what do I do then? That's what you're thinking, right? 
Yes. Oh, I have to. Ah, yeah, yeah. So it's all just the same, though. Okay. Luckily, it's just like white noise. <laughs> Shut them up with your left click silence. After that, all of the arguments will be audible again. So that is not something I can, like, shoot. Like, yeah, I can silence it, but it's not, like, something I can, like, refute, right? Can you just shoot the truth bullet at the weak spot? You know the drop. Thank you for your understanding. Okay. What do we, what do we, what do we, what do we, what do we? What is your alibi? Five minutes. Five minutes. Uh, okay, so Maki alone. Maki was standing guard in front of her lab last night. She stayed in her dorm room only during night time. I don't think that's gonna be. Uh... When I was running from I even tried hiding the in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> what did what did Kaito just say? I even tried hiding in the girls' bathroom. I guess we'll have to agree with someone here. And it's not gonna be Kaito, maybe. Things got a little heated if Kaito they they left with don't. <laughs> I wish I could, like. See what everyone's saying here, it seems so good. Immediately after Kukichi left the ultimate and terminal blah, 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 was caught by Kurumi in the entrance hall. Oh! Yeah, Kirumi has an alibi. He stayed with her until 10 pm. Kirumi has an alibi. What's Maki's alibi? Uh, really leave the gym at 9pm. <laughs> Are you sure you did not stay at the gym? What the fuck? Bam! <laughs> oh, fuck it. it! Get me out of here! I didn't even get the V spot thing. Oh, I really have to focus on that. That's gonna be like. No, I think Kirumi is telling the truth. Crucial for getting Kofiki's a good score. Proves it. Yeah, that was cool though. That was cool. Like I had to, I had to shut Kaito up, but like I had to hit it multiple times. As scary as that thing is, I, I think it's it's fine. You just have to really know what are we talking about. And how can I like, yeah, you know, it's the same for every uh, non-stop debate really, but here it's just a bit more to pay attention to. But it's so cool once you just get it, if you like figure it out right away. Mm. Looking, like looking at each truth bullet is so useful, it's so helpful. White, uh, right when I got to the entrance hall, Kurumi spotted me. That was right after I left Gunter's lab, so it was right around 9pm. She started throwing rocks at me and left <laughs> questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. You can't do the same joke twice, come on. She just kept talking, then finally let me go at 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. Yeah. A whole hour! But only the first half was like actually talking. No. And then it was like Kokichi chasing Kokichi. And they were together until nighttime. Yep. Gonta went to the gym to catch Himiko and Angie five minutes before nine o'clock. After I left Gonta's lab, I ran into Kirumi. I'm pretty sure Kirumi stayed at the gym five minutes till nine o'clock. What? This information could have been told to us beforehand. <laughs> Sorry, forgot. I definitely didn't keep it a secret to make the trial more interesting. Definitely not. Forgot? It seems far more plausible that you are telling another lie. Unlike robots, we meatbags can't pull out our memories from our hard drive. <laughs> Was that supposed to offend me? Your irrationality fills me with pity. <laughs> if I am the culprit, that would mean I killed Ryoma within five minutes transported him to the gym, and hid him in the piranha tank. Mm. This seems highly unlikely. Yeah, I think so too. If you called Ryoma out to the gym and killed him there, you wouldn't need to move him. <sighs> All you would have to do is hide him in the piranha tank. Gonto was in the midst of heading to the gym to capture Angie. Are you claiming I took advantage of that and called Ryoma for a rendezvous at the gym? That'd be pretty difficult. We should probably look at other possibilities. Maybe someone snuck into the gym while Kirumi and I were busy talking. 
The only ones capable of that are the other three with no alibis. But they could have snuck in with window. Window. When is the window gonna? I. Ah. Mew, Kaido, and Maki. Ah, you're including me too. Yes. But there's actually one person we can rule out of the suspects list. Oh. Right? There's one person <laughs> who's totally not suspicious. Say who it is already. <laughs> He's not gonna say Kaito. Oh, hold on. Fuck. Uh. Fuck, what? Must be talking about the figure he saw. They certainly would have an alibi. The fi Wait, what? 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 We need to pin down who that was. The key to that fact lies in Kokichi, Gonta, and Mio's statements. According to what we know, that figure Kokichi saw must be... Mio. That's it! I still remember that. Kokichi, somehow. are talking about Mio, right? Oh, yes. What? You? Yeah, it's not you. Fuck off. Ah, no, it's fine. Yeah, you can take her off the list. She actually has an alibi. She said as much in the in the panic thing. Booyah! Suck it, nerds! <laughs> Wait a sec. Since when does she have an alibi? If you compare everyone's statements, there's no other possibility. Oh yeah, I did see something odd while Kurumi... Yeah, that, that was the thing I remember. While Kurumi was lecturing me. Yeah, they're, they're like... It could it could have only been Mew. Uh, yeah. Like that. It, a girl in underwear or something. Something odd? <laughs> I saw a half-naked girl wandering out the courtyard in her underwear. Yeah, yeah. It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. A girl walking around half naked. Who else could it be? But the <laughs> horny exhibitionist Mew. Yep. <laughs> yep. We can't just jump to conclusions like that. He just saw a shadow, right? Yeah, maybe it was me. You know? <laughs> that could have been anyone walking around in women's underwear. Even <laughs> me. I didn't think he was going to say that, but he did. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It could have been me walking in woman's underwear. What are you listening to yourself? That'd be a whole different issue. <laughs> no, it's Mew, without a doubt. Mew and Gonta's statements prove it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, uh, Mew had to use her secret woman weapon, which was taking off her clothes. Yeah. So she didn't get captured. Oh, Gonta see me, but Gonta's face get red hot. So Gonta no could bring her. <laughs> Your face got hot? You mean you were hot on her trail, right? No, I'm she used her, what she call it? Secret woman weapon? And then... Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, well. I had to use my secret woman weapon. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. That, uh, I see, I see. that fits. Sounds like Gonta got an eyeful, hmm? <laughs> what? Why the heck were you in your underwear, Mew? Why indeed? <laughs> oh, well, because, you know, I'm pretty stacked, so... You gotta show off. <laughs> what the fuck? I figured I'd take my clothes off so Gonta would be too flustered to touch me. And it worked. It worked. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, you cockroaches! Let's go. Anyway, I think the blood rushed to both of Gonta's heads because he got super embarrassed. <clears throat> okay. Mew was in her underwear, and... Gonta got weird feeling. <laughs> Gonta. Look at look at his face though, for real. 
Look at Gota's face. That's like... Oh. <laughs> so, Gonta ran away. <laughs> well, when you got the body of a goddess, it's only natural to want to flaunt it. I can't believe they... I show my panties to the boys all the time. They included and this. I mean all the time. All the time. <laughs> so you're welcome, Gonta. Think of me during your next tug session. Like... I could see a lot of people not appreciating that Mio is a part of this game, but for some... <laughs> yeah, let's just leave it like that. <laughs> let's just leave it at that. Most oh, of that was unintelligible nonsense, but it would seem that Mew has an actual alibi. Yep, and what an alibi yeah, it is. It took a while, but at least we got everyone's alibis cleared up. Let's go. So, who's left? Kaito and Maki. We should remember all of this in case we need to recall these events again. Yeah. <laughs> in, in case we need to recall. <laughs> oh my god, the game knows me too well. Alright. Oh, we got we got alibis for yesterday. Um, that's good. That's good. That leaves... Kaito and Maki yep. as the only ones with no alibis. Then one of them must be the culprit. But which one, I wonder? Eeny miny. <laughs> Eeny miny. Oh no! No! The culprit by it. <laughs> Why am I like this? Why am I. <laughs> Hold up! Don't decide just yet! Oh my god, why is Angie so predictable? <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny. <laughs> Two prime suspects, Kaito and Maki. But something inside me doesn't want to accuse Kaito. I want to but something inside me also doesn't want to... I guess Maki has been a... bad. But like, she's she's gotten on my nerves a bit this trial, so I'd I, I, I guess I'd rather suspect her. But I also believe that she really guarded her thing because it was really important for her. I, 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 I trust both of them. It's a problem. I want to believe Kaito until he's proven guilty. I will trust him. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit. Wh <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, we should do something more fun. And I have the perfect idea. His voice. Sometimes, like the creepiest thing in the universe. Uh, I need to hear that one again. Maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit. W no, we should. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit. W no. What? <laughs> okay, what's your idea? What? <laughs> we narrowed it down to two people, and one of those two is the culprit, right? Oh my God! Are we just gonna like? Majority rules this thing. Like, are we gonna? Oh, I don't like your idea. <laughs> Since we don't have to randomly accuse each other, finding the truth just got much easier. But like, what if it's none of them? So let's find the truth with a more effective method. Oh, that, that's nonsense. Everyone has an alibi. It has to be one of those two. Ah, unfortunately, unless window. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that window. And what is this effective method? I was hoping I could reach like the halfway point here before I end the video, but I'm, 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 how far away am I from that? <laughs> yeah, what is this method? If one of them is the culprit, then the innocent one should know who the guilty one is. Yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Because if you know you're not the culprit, then you can just accuse the other person. Oh, yeah. Okay, I get, I get you. Yes, that is true. Which means there is one person among us who definitely knows who the culprit is. Oh my god. And it's... So it's either Kaito or uh, Maki who know who the culprit is? I'm getting worried here. First off, because because of 
that one time I spent free time with Kaito, and it told, uh, it was like, uh, uh, like trusting someone sometimes can be like very big mistake or something. And Kai, like what Kaito has been saying so far, like just like him spouting out nonsense all the time, really. I'm thinking here that, oh no. I don't, but I... To that someone who knows, do your best to convince us. Work harder. But Maki wasn't gonna even, like, participate. Work harder? Hard... Harder? <laughs> Work harder? Work harder? <laughs> okay. Have the two argue for their innocence. That's how we'll decide our culprit. Oh my god, you're an asshole. <laughs> Even if we did that, wouldn't they just pass the blame back and forth? Uh-huh. And to, like, so he's like, whoever's more convincing is not the culprit or what? Yeah, okay, and... no, that makes sense. <laughs> and... Huh? He just wants to have fun. You guys talk about cooperation and teamwork. But you're all afraid. You're too scared to point your fingers at others. So you hide behind the word trust. What is this man? <laughs> Who is this guy? How do you expect to find the culprit when you're all worried about each other's feelings? If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. He would know. <laughs> Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit! Calm down! <laughs> if we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. <laughs> what, what is this voice actor? How does he do it? If we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. It's like a completely different character. No more pointless deductions. Yeah, look at this. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. I saw that one. Let's host an argument that's totally not boring, but super fun. <laughs> Kokichi, what is up? What's what? what, what, what uh, but I, I saw that one sprite that was like this really creepy smile. We'll catch the culprit in their lies when we find a contradiction. He's like, he could like beat his meat to this. We'll scare the culprit until they screw up. That's how a true class trial works. <laughs> oh my god. Right, Monokuma? <laughs> a development like that would liven things up a bit. Yep, I totally agree. I <laughs> don't. You're agreeing with Monokuma? Just whose side are you on? Oh, he's sweating. Your side. I don't want to die either, you know. Why is he sweating? <laughs> That's why we need to take this seriously. Hot debate to smoke out the life. Well, if it's really just between Maki and Kaito, it's obvious that Kaito is the culprit, but... And how do you expect <sighs> us to start this? Is, is that the absolute truth? But I guess... Kaito would be nervous in the scenario, no matter what, even if he wasn't the culprit. Yeah, I, I, and Maki's always like cool and composed. If you guys need some help getting started, I can give out the first topic. Is this gonna be a new type of minigame? Our <laughs> first topic is this! Ta da! The cup's pad. <sighs> what is that creepy smile? Wait, did he not voice this one? Nope. Not just any Cubs pad, but the one given to our latest victim, Ryoma. Ryoma. He's like... <laughs> I'm loving this development for Kokichi. Don't get me wrong, but he's being really creepy. Now I pressed uh, X to see the image, but I guess that just muted the dialogue or whatever. When we started investigating, yeah, okay. I went straight to his room to borrow. Hold on. Alright, so this is Ryoma's. Okay. 
Are, are, are we gonna watch it? Yeah, for sure. So it wasn't the culprit who took the video from his room. It was you. It could have. It makes sense because Kokichi did go into everyone's dorms and stole the thingies. So he just got there before the culprit had the chance. But no, if the culprit if the culprit wasn't in uh, Ryoma's video, they would have no. Uh, why would they remove the video? Okay. And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is because one of these two had Ryoma's Moda video. Dun dun dun. Oh. Oh. Uh. One of these two had it. Oh my god. Stop sweating. <laughs> And she, I, I can't read her. She's like a poker face. And for us to figure that out, we need to know who this motive video belongs to. Okay, I'm with you. Take a guess, everyone. Whose motive video did Ryoma have? Okay. Whose motive video did Ryoma have? It has to be Maki because we had Kaido's. Kaito's. Kaito! What if you remember was Kaido Maki's? Maki! I should know the answer. Maki! Maki, neither Kaito, Maki! That's it! That's it! <laughs> yeah, it we had Kaido's. Maki's motive video, right? Oh my god. We're so lucky that we had Kaido's. Wow, how did you ever guess? Ooh, I know, I know! It's because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito. <laughs> yes! He's super smart. Holy shit. Process of elimination wins again. <laughs> the obvious answer was Maki, right? Yeah. Is that true, Shuichi? Yeah, I had your video all along. Sorry, bro. Yes, you're right. And what about that? Just because Ryoma had my motive video, that doesn't make me the culprit. No, it might. Because you're very... You're very... No, I was gonna spend free time with her. Don't kill Maki. Don't. So, because she's uh, really been very protective of like her research lab. There's clearly something she doesn't want us to know about her. And maybe that was also revealed in her video. So I guess she would have a reason. The same reason she used to like... Stand guard in front of her lab. Same exact reason. <laughs> Finally, you said something. This is how a debate should be. How oh, okay. I only brought up the motive video to make you talk. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Now that we got the party rolling, let's get you and Kaito ready to argue. Remember, if you're not the culprit, then that means the other one is. Got that? Let's start this extreme death <laughs> debate. Tear up the other's lies. Rip each other apart. Is this what we're calling this extreme death debate? Whoever oh, loses dies. What are you trying to? Quit screwing around. We don't need to debate who's a culprit. Oh, Kaito. I, I didn't. I didn't press anything. Kaito did that by himself. I didn't advance the text. That is so cool. That is so cool that it just advanced the text like that. You don't, why is he getting so flustered over this, though? I'm not the culprit! That's for sure! That's what a culprit would say. I'm sorry. You need to have better evidence than that. Which means... It's Maki! Uh, I don't know. Kaito, wait! Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Maybe he... But Maki isn't a culprit either! Now we're getting... This is the development I want to see. Huh? Window? Window? Come on, window! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, I'm with I'm with Kaito here. Huh? Really? 
You're saying neither of you are the culprit? Then what would be the point of this whole debate? Who cares about that? All he did it I know again. is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. <laughs> he did it again. I love it. <laughs> it's just a hunch I've got. Uh, a hunch? Yes. <laughs> are you being serious? You do know all our lives are on the line here, right? No, 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 no. Trust Kaito on this one. I, I have the same hunch. Two hunch. Two hunches. Two hunchy? And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? Two hunchies less less hunch hunches hunches less. Hm. You don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. Mm -hmm. This is an official hunch <laughs> from the Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. I had a, I had a feeling he was gonna say that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How illogical. This is even more difficult to comprehend than Kokichi's antics. You're totally not serious. You can't be that stupid, right? Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. We're gonna find out next time. <laughs> okay, so we didn't reach a halfway point. I'm assuming that's gonna be like pretty soon. But then again, I don't, I don't know when the, the no, I, I don't know this trial, so I don't know when the halfway point arrives. It might still be uh. It still be a while until that happens. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it here. Interesting development again. Another part where I completely got screwed over. But <laughs> you know, I, I also had some, some, some moments here and there where I, I did figure it out right away. So you know, not all sections of the class trials are going to be guaranteed to be a success. For me, anyway, I know there are a lot of people out there who can just, like, ace this, but I'm not one of them. Apologies for that, but I still hope you're enjoying the Let's Play nonetheless, so thank you all so much for watching. This trial is a lot more interesting than I initially thought. I thought it's just going to be like, yeah, we just have to prove that Himiko's innocent, and then it's going to become pretty obvious who the culprit actually is, but I guess I was just very wrong in assuming that, because... There are just so many possibilities, and I'm still thinking about the window. <laughs> I don't, can't get it out of my head. Basically. Which would, like, again, invalidate all of the alibis, but we'll see if that happens or not. And we'll see what Kaito has to say next time. But yeah. So then again, thank you all so much for watching this part. And we're gonna, you know, continue the trial in the next one. What a surprise. No, actually, I think in the next part we're going to go visit the um, casino a bit to, like... Anyway, see you all next time. <laughs> and take care, everyone. Boys and girls with everything between us, undead soul was never seen. Putting on a mask, why you ask for a bit of a rule? That's just that.